Hi everyone, this is G Squadron and this time I will show you two main things. The first one will be my updates for 2016 and what are my plans for the future. And the second one is that I'm going to tell you and show you like four keys that I found out uh, in my five years of experience. I will start with the keys actually because it is really interesting. And uh, those four keys are basically the biggest difference between somebody who has five years of experience and somebody who uh, does not have this experience. Now those four, uh, those four keys are these. Uh, the, the first one is basically a negative key and the second one too. Like there are two negative keys and there are two positive keys. Now the two negative keys, I found them from listening to other programmers. It wasn't basically me who was trying to say that those stuff that they were saying. And the two other positive keys are actually keys that I found out within myself. Like nobody in the whole world is going to tell you about those two keys. Like even if I tell you, it is your job to go and... It is your duty actually to find out your own keys. So the first two negative keys, and I usually start from negative and then and to the positive, is that when you, uh, like when I listen to other programmers, I found out that they mainly tend to say that programming is hard, programming is so difficult. The real truth is that programming it is not hard, like it, it really depends if you want to program or if you don't want to program like if you don't want something you will always say that it is hard it cannot be done it's like this and it's like that like they always say this stuff and it doesn't matter like uh, you can meet a 20 years experienced programmer or a one year programmer they usually tend like this is this is the key of the loser the loser always tells you that no it can be done no it's so difficult like programming is hard the real truth is that programming it is not hard it, it is actually you who makes it hard like it's the person if you don't study if you don't read those books if you don't keep trying every single day uh, it is going to be not hard, it's going to be impossible because you don't have the knowledge uh, to basically create what you have in your mind. Now, uh, this was the first key and this first key, as I said, that the people who say that no, it cannot be done, like uh, it's like this and like that. The sad truth about it is that uh, those who don't have the experience basically tend to tell you that uh, it is going to uh, it is going to be impossible. It cannot be done. And the people who have already done it will come in and tell you that no, um, it is so hard. Like they always tend to. Um, try and make you fail even if they have like a lot of years of experience let me tell you one example of this key and this is really really important uh, I've met another programmer I I'm not going to name anyone but I'm I have met another programmer in real life he basically had nearly 10 years of experience and I had around two and a half years of experience like this was in 2013 and this guy told me that Photoshop is real difficult. He had 10 years of experience, like 4 more times of experience than me. And I had 2 and a half years of experience. I told to the guy that no, Photoshop is really easy to make. It is actually one of the easiest softwares to make. Like, and he was like, what are you talking about? You are like this and you are like that. I mean, I don't even want to reimagine the place where I was talking with him. And so the sad truth is that right now, for example, I can uh, immediately start creating uh, the software to create uh, or to modify images, for example, by using uh, my own skills.
like I can create Photoshop by using um, JavaScript or whatever kind of language you might think of because if I can already modify now things in front of the screen I can already do whatever I want to do basically with the 2d canvas like uh, or with a 2d library because I don't need to know a lot of stuff because I've already acquired the knowledge I've already put in the time and uh, the energy and efforts to basically create games and when you start to create games I mean I guarantee you whoever has created a very simple game like it doesn't matter if you created a 2d graphics game or game engine uh, actually game engine because there are a lot of programmers who use game engines like if you create your own game engine Photoshop is going to be very very easy and uh, yeah I had um, some plans of maybe creating a Photoshop software just to learn about it but I don't have time to waste right now so I'm going to move forward um, into my other upcoming project the second key that I found out that most of the people like the majority of the people that I'm really really amazed I'm literally amazed by those people is that they don't have the uh, the experience and they think that by creating only one project they will get the experience for example um, if you have let's say two years of programming experience and you want to create that amazing MMORPG or maybe a Zelda game or maybe Super Mario right away that's so wrong like that is so wrong that is deadly wrong like you don't even know what you have put yourself into and the greatest thing that I did was to start extremely small like the the ninja uh, ninja ball that I created was so small for me like it took me just one month for the prototype and uh, three other months to complete the game uh, it wasn't like it wasn't a big deal as a game because we have so many to the amazing to the games and 3d games but I started really really small and I try to be as small as possible what I found out is that even that maze game that I created was too big at the start like it was literally very very big like I could not believe that uh, because I had to create for example the level editor um, and the level editor like I'm not going to write down each level one by one so I had to create the level editor uh, then there were the walls and the collisions with the enemies and it wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be it was basically impossible but uh, because I kept going even without knowing anything like I just kept thinking about it something uh, in my mind somehow came in and um, I was fortunate enough to create my first 2D game engine. It was an amazing, amazing experience. I don't even want to say that uh, that was the uh, best experience in my whole life. But yeah, it was an amazing experience. Now, uh, as I said, the first key was that a lot of people say, no, it is too hard, no, uh, or no, it cannot be done, it's impossible everything is possible I can guarantee you if I created a 2d game engine I truly believe that I can do whatever I want to do right now with my programming experience so if I created this little game this maze game which basically I found out on the internet and this was uh, this should have been my fourth game from scratch my third or fourth game but I started right away with that so instead of because I acquired this experience, normally I would want to create an even better game. But instead of increasing the difficulty of the gameplay in the upcoming game, I chose to make it even simpler than before. But at least to create uh, better code, to 
reorganize everything and stuff like that. And the end result was basically a shooter game where the player does not move from his place and he just keeps shooting. So yeah, this is uh, basically the upcoming to the game that I will showcase by February the 1st, I believe, if I, um, if I will normally end it by then. But I don't know if I will be able to finish it, because I have a lot of art stuff that I have to put inside the game. So this was the s second key basically, the people who try to create something huge without a, even trying first uh, to somehow create a little game and then maybe a small game and from a small go to medium and still you are like, you, you really need a lot of experience to get up to um, those amazing 3d games like you need a lot of experience the smaller those chunks of experience are the better for you you are not going to need to read let's say a whole book for mmorpgs like i don't need to read a whole book to create this second game i basically <laughs> barely read uh, anything new like i read let's say 10 chapters i reread them reread them and Another four chapters just so that I knew what uh, what was coming up with uh, the programming language and stuff like that. But I really did not uh, need that much of experience uh, because I already had created uh, a 2 the game engine. So the second one uh, was going to be just another 2 the game engine. And that's it. So the first key was... Uh, that a lot of people say no it cannot be done or it's impossible or it is hard like there are so many other programmers who say the programming is hard no it's not it's basically you who wants to make it hard or wants to make it look like it is hard and the second key was that there are a lot of uh, this was the second negative key is uh, uh, was that there are a lot of negative people out there <laughs> who somehow try to create a huge four years or five years uh, project and uh, I found a five years project on Steam I don't remember it well it was about a tower yesterday I saw that I mean it was it was an amazing project but it was ridiculous like you don't have that experience you don't understand what people want you you are not getting feedback you and the reason why you are not getting feedback it, it is because you don't have enough experience to understand why feedback is needed or you don't have enough experience to understand that about marketing uh, and this was absolutely ridiculous like there was one guy it wasn't i mean from a programming point of view it is amazing like uh, but from a marketing point of view it is completely ridiculous there was a guy that uh, created an amazing um, game i don't even want to pronounce the name of the game or whatever it doesn't matter but he took one year and a half of of creating this amazing game and then he did not market it and the reason why is because of those small chunks like if you are not trying to get little by little up there uh, if you try to get up there right away, like in creating a, an amazing 3D game right away, even if you do that, you will understand what big of deal you have missed so far. Like you might have wasted a year and a half, but you still don't understand marketing. You still don't understand who to co contact for this game. You don't understand how to send emails to the press. You don't understand, like there are a lot of things involved. So just creating the game, as everybody says, like whoever has enough experience will say that just creating the game is not enough. Like it, it was not enough back then, and it is not enough uh, today, and will never be enough. And so those were the two keys. Like never try to create something big when you bear, you, like when you have never hold something, like when you never held something smaller like try even if you can handle it try try to uh, to take something small then a little bit bigger and bigger and things like that 
there are two other keys that I found out about basically myself. And the first key that I found out for myself is that <coughs> basically nothing is impossible. Like for real, absolutely nothing is impossible. When I created the 2D uh, uh, game engine in 2014, I mean... I was literally shocked, like how could I even create this uh, 2D game engine, like I had not, I didn't have math experience, I was always failing in math at school, um, I was uh, always learning about web development, like how did I come up with the 2D game engine, but uh, it was basically my... Uh, three and a half years of experience that helped me to overcome this difficulty like in within three and a half years of experience that's literally very very a very good result to create a 2d game engine like for me it was amazing as an experience normally it is not a big deal of an engine <laughs> and uh, when i look at it i laugh at it but there are certain things within that engine that that if you ask me today, I would literally not understand it. I would still not understand, like, ask myself, like, how did you do that? Like, for real. Because uh, it is really, it was really difficult. And even nowadays, there are things that I worked on that engine that took me 10 days. Meanwhile, even today, for example, there are certain lines of code that take you... Uh, 10 days or might take you a long long time and if you don't have that experience like ne the next time you will start uh, not uh, you will start understanding like what in the world <laughs> why did it take me so much because you already have the experience so next time when you create a year and a half game or four years game or whatever uh, Start as small as it can be, like don't try to make something way bigger or even medium, even small, don't, don't go small, go for the smallest, the, the smallest possible, uh, and that's it. So this was the third key, and the fourth key is that uh, your powers are unlimited. Now, this fourth key, I barely scratched it, but I already know that uh, it is totally possible. Now, here is the, the real thing. On uh, 28th of November, I decided to program every day for 365 days. Like, every day. Uh, so, it means that I, I have, like... Uh, 60 days I believe or something like that nearly 60 days programming every single day every single day like, I have not stopped programming and what is even more funny and lovable about this is that instead of trying to uh, make less code and less code and be less productive and less productive I am leveraging it up and I'm becoming more productive and more productive. But how could it be? And I already know that my and like my body cannot cope with me for more than 15 to 30 days. Like it depends on what I'm doing. But for the game engine, for example, my first game engine it took me 30 days of every day. And yeah, so I mean 30 days and I was at by the end I was like so so tired like i couldn't even like my mind <laughs> was like shaking like <laughs> what i'm doing like, i was so tired and yeah so i gave up on keep uh, on keeping to update it and things like that i just did the prototype and did like a month of uh, free time <laughs> like for real but the, this time it is not happening like how could it be and the secret like the biggest secret this time and the reason why i'm not giving up and it is not about giving up it is about it is about understanding how to never give up 
even though like the giving up is just uh, it's just a word it does not really exist like you never give up if you don't want to give up and I'm still asking myself like how could it be and what I found out uh, basically on to what I've understood so far is that the reason why I'm not giving up is because um, of the project that I'm working on like if I was to create a video game that I don't really like or to create a 2D game engine that I don't like uh, I mean I would have given up like the first game engine was the first one and it's not that cool but this second one is way cooler like the frame rates on uh, Internet Explorer are way 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 better the or on Google Chrome or on Firefox Opera like I've tried everywhere it's so amazing and I'm uh, saving and loading the game I cannot believe that <laughs> like the first game was such a mess with save, saving and loading the game <coughs> sorry uh, but uh, yeah the second le uh, the second game engine is amazing like I I cannot believe that I've progressed so much and the truth is that a year has passed but I did not give up like I kept going and going and I didn't care about how how difficult it was going to become and uh, I've come so far right now so why shouldn't I keep going even more like I'm still thinking hey man how can I uh, program every hour <laughs> not like every day but uh, yeah, it might bring you some health issues maybe later, I don't know, but I took the risk and uh, I will get the results by <clears throat> on the later days. Uh, and fortunately, I have like the whole those 60 days I've been programming for this new 2D game engine. I really love the engine. The game is not a big deal. I can already tell you the game it's not a big deal. Like there are a lot of other more advanced games, far advanced games that the game I'm doing. But for me, I mean it is a very very good result. Like way way better than the first engine. Like three times better. The frame rates, I love them. Um, I even created an algorithm for the sprites. I created so many things that about the game that I really really love it so I'm going to keep moving forward to create even better games and what I'm even thinking is to create one of the best online games like I can I already can feel and can smell that I will be able to create one of the best online games by the end of 2016 or 2017 like I'll, I'll, I already can feel that because I'm doing those game engines and it is not so difficult like people say that no game development is so hard it is not hard it, I mean depends on what you're trying to do and how much experience you have like it depends on how much you can hold for like let's say if you want to come up to the experience that I have right now you need to learn every day for <laughs> nearly every day but you have to learn day and night like you have to learn a lot to come up here like you have to learn for five years like if you don't have five years of experience i'm and then i'm really sorry like you cannot understand what what you uh, are going to try to do and the fifth key that i want to add right now because a friend of mine told me uh, there are so many people trying to basically use those game engines and yeah that's that's pretty cool like for real but uh, as a programmer point of view using somebody else's game engine didn't teach me anything about programming like for real like i used unity and people said that oh unity one of the best game engine and things like that and i created a game and the end result was that <laughs> i barely learned one or two things like for real and somebody would say that but you don't did not have the experience stuff like that yeah but I created a game and I barely learned anything like for real I was just dragging and dropping those things learning those scripts and using them to create the game 
like for real i was adding the force to the ball like the um, the game is called seasons of the year and yeah i mean that game uh was basically and is still basically my best game so far and i've created 10 games throughout those five years 10 games is not a big deal like somebody else can create 20 or 30 games but uh, it doesn't matter and what i found out <laughs> this is another interesting fact is that on uh, when i was talking to other programmers uh, or even programmers with 10 or, uh, or 18 or 20 years of experience like i don't know but there were a lot of programmers with a lot of experience uh, and i was talking to them online and i was telling them that hey uh, i can create a video game uh, using HTML, like HTML is not a programming language, it's a um, hypertext markup language, like it is a markup language, and all they were saying, no, you cannot create a video game, you cannot create a video game, like, man, <laughs> the people think that you need a programming language to create a video game, the real truth is that you are not still understanding what a video game is in its core, and so I used the HTML to create kind of point and click adventure with images and it was interesting like I had some kind of feedback from uh, other people devs and stuff like that and they really liked the idea uh, I mean nobody comments to your uh, video game if nobody really cares or maybe they really care but they are hesitating to comment on your game but they commented so yeah I mean for me it's a big deal and uh, about the 2016 update, most probably I will finish this uh, game right now. Uh, I will move on to the next edition of this game if the uh, uh, game designer uh, and artist uh, Patrick will uh, help me with it. And I will move on to another game engine that uh, will basically be based on this uh, to the game engine because. It is quite good to tell the truth, like it already does what it should do. And we'll ask another artist to help me with a, a new game. It might be a point and click game, I believe. I really don't know. And uh, yeah, so this is the update that I've made so far. So thank you for listening and don't forget to subscribe or like or even share this with your friends. Like if you know any other dev who is interested in making video games, just share it, share this video with him. So thank you very much and bye.